الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم والذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أعاذنا الله وإياكم من النار وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل عباد الله و servants of Allah Here we are on the blessed day of the week Friday This day that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Would address the Muslim ummah of what concerns them He would address them of the problems that they're facing in their communities He would advise them of the obstacles and the ups and downs. And what we are facing in our communities is the problems that lies with our youth. We see it where we have to bear the suffering. We complain about it, and sometimes we forget the root cause of many of it. The cause of these problems from one neighborhood to another, from Muslim of our own, is found in a fitna, a trial. It is from the greatest tool of the devil. It is none other than music. Music is one of the voices of the devil. In fact, it's of the greatest of them. Music have brought perhaps a young child that used to go to the mosque on Saturday and Sunday to read the Qur'an, decent character, to becoming a murderer on the front page of the news. He was inspired by lyrics. He was inspired by a leader of a neighborhood gang. He tried to live a life that was fake in reality. A life that was meaningless. A life that ended up to drug abuse and many of these rappers have passed away due to that. And we can't keep track of how many musicians and rappers are dying out of drug abuse, and they were the same people that used to boast about how many uh, pills that they used to pop, how many drugs that they used to intake, how many of things, even them, some of them rapping about prescriptions, medication. All of this is to show that some of these causes is the root for what we see of violence in our neighborhoods. Music, it is known universally that it has a huge impact to the mind and the soul. The Muslims and the non-Muslims attest to this worldwide. Before that, we find in our Quran that it misguides from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهُ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُذِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ From amongst the people is who they purchase entertainment of speech. And the scholars of tafsir, when they explain this majority of them, in fact, Abdullah Mas'ud, he says, وَالَّذِي لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا هُوْ I bear, I bear witness that there's none worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by him in this declaration I bear witness that this verse is, none, is not speaking other than music. 
music, it was found, and this birth warning from it. <coughs> and we find now in our houses, in our homes, in our gatherings, people playing it. As if it doesn't mean anything. The children, they grow up finding their parents listening to this type of music, that type of music. So they come and they surf the nets to find something that suits them and their generation, and look what they came across. It's disastrous. They're able to just surf the nets and find any type of music that they get inspired by. And the one who says to you that music does not affect you, he's lying to you. Wallahi, we've seen sound men with the best of intellect get affected by it. Music, the lyrics, what they have saying in there, Wallahi, sometimes it's like magic. It gets so repetitive, it stays in the mind of the person. Wallahi, sometimes you may hear one lyrics or one song maybe 15 years ago, and you perhaps still remember the same moment of it. Still in your mind. It is a sickness that shaitan uses to affect the hearts. Music, if it wasn't only for the fact that when music comes into the mind and into the soul, the Quran, the sweetness of the Quran goes away, that would be sufficient for us to know that music is haram. Have you seen a person love music and at the same time love Quran? You find that he's lying to himself. He picks up the Mus'haf for a short span. He gets distracted. He picks up the Book of Allah. He can't enjoy the sweetness of the verses. He cannot ponder over it because of the music in his heart. It is something that is occupying our hearts. We need to purify our minds and our souls and our communities at large from it. We find that even <coughs> neighborhoods have their own rap gang, and each one perhaps has a leader. So your child is perhaps from a neighborhood that is inspired of a rap star or a rap leader amongst them. He's saying words, <coughs> saying words of violence, saying words boasting and bragging about how many weapons or how many people that he has hurt and harmed. Or boasting and bragging about how many times has he committed fornication. This is what we are allowing our children to listen to. You just allow see them with their earphones. They're going to school with it. They're going to work with it. And even stats have said that even the regular teenager of those who listen to this type of music they perhaps give four hours a day to listen to music. Count from going to school, going to work, on the bus, music just going, one lyrics, all of these words of profanity, disgusting words entering his mind. And yet you assume that your child is not going to get affected. We're lying to ourselves. We need to remove this filth from our houses. Even the parents, they need to start with themselves. Some of the parents, they allow for themselves to listen to music and then they negate it for their children. You're desensitizing your children. They see you doing something. Perhaps it may be from your country style music, Somali music, Arabian music, Pakistani music, Indian music, all of it is desensitizing and is leading to what we're seeing now amongst our families. Wallahi, just a few of these lyrics, if one of the youth were to take it upon himself and to try to live that lifestyle, we would see what we're suffering now. Young child that we used to perhaps smile with and now affected by this lifestyle, the music industry. It's a disease. And this, also the sadness apart that that many of these musicians and these rappers, they're living a lifestyle that they don't even live up to. They're earning money for corrupting your children, millions of dollars, and they themselves don't even live to those lyrics that they say. Who's, who's suffering? These people that are taking these lyrics in. It's a sad part. 
whether it be in a moment of joyful moments where you want to celebrate, or you're sad, avoid music. The Prophet ﷺ said from Hadith Anas ibn Malik, Sautan mal'unan fi dunya wal akhirah. The noble messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, two types of voices, two types of sound. They're cursed in this life and the next. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam begins with the worst of them. He said, Sautu mizmarin in the ni'mah. The sound of musical instruments at the time of a blessing. Some of the people... When a, a, a joyful moment happens, two couples get married, they wish to celebrate by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by playing music. They fall into a moment that is a, a blessing to a moment that is cursed. So tun in the ni'mah. And your children, they're seeing this. One mother to another parent forwarding clips of musical clips from one wedding to another. They themselves want to take part, so they're going to forward clips of musical hits from this musician and that singer from one place to another on their Snapchat, and you see it and so on. This is what's happening. We need to address the problem. One of the root causes of violence and drugs and neighborhood gangs is music. Look at the stats. It is clear facts. Most of the rap music, 77% of it, in fact more than that, it is calling to lewdness. Violence, drug abuse, harming even some own family, supposedly of breaking the, the laws of the streets. This is what we're seeing, where they become raised as monsters from their own homes. You find that. A child, a young miskeen, who perhaps will go to Saturday and Sunday to duksi to the Qur'an, becomes who he is today, on the, perhaps on the front page of the news as a murderer. What inspired him? Music. In fact, Perhaps at that moment when he's pulling the trigger, he's listening to a music that inspired him. And we've seen that. Some of these people, they're triggered. Their, their emotions to do what they're doing, what drives them is music. Supporting a particular rap gang of a neighborhood. This is the violence that's happening. Shooting from one place to another. It is because of this, we see, people are silent about music. Close the door for your children to listen to it. Keep them preoccupied with the Qur'an. Do not just tell them what we find some parents do when they're asked, why do you only play Qur'an in the morning? The child asks his father, why do you only play Qur'an in the morning? He says, Qur'an is only for the morning. The rest of the day we play music. <coughs> well, the rest of the day is music. This is what our children are growing up on. So it's unfortunate. We need to address this moment. The Prophet wasallam spoke about us but a number of hadith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before that mentioned to Iblis that the way that he's going to seduce many of the people and lead them to go astray is the voice of music. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَفْزِزْ مَنِ اسْتَطَعْتَ مِنْهُمْ وَاسْتَفْزِزْ مَنِ اسْتَطَعْتَ مِنْهُمْ بِسَوْتِكَ وَأَجْلِبْ عَلَيْهِمْ بِخَيْلِكَ وَرَجِلِكَ وَشَارِكْهُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ وَعِدْهُمْ وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the ways that the shaytan is going to put people to trial and seduce them, starting number one, بِسَوْتِكَ with his voice. It is a tool of the devil. Musical instruments, whether it be the old-fashioned ones, guitars, flutes, this thing or that thing, or what we have today of technology that they're able to bring musical sounds from sound effects, 
from sound effects that could come about, a musical sound that we would perhaps hear from back in the days from an instrument. Warn your family. Supervise your children. Those who are old from them, explain to them how harmful it is. Even in the medical side of it, it has caused mental health problems. Many people are depressed. Look at the people, they said most of the youth, who listen to a lot of music at their teens, often they become depressed. Often they become depressed. You're living and listening to someone else's depression. A man is speaking depressively, expressing how he was so harmed by a woman, or he wants a particular woman, or this or that. All of this is going to eventually lead to what we say now of sadness and grief. Let us be sufficed with the Noble Book of Allah. Let us teach our families. Let us remove any filth of music that we have in our houses. Any type of it, perverting one needs to the other. You can see that even some of our sisters, it's unfortunate. You listen to what they listen to online. It's sickening to the heart. She's listening to a woman, a musician, that promotes prostitution, promotes the greatest of filth. And then later on, we're asking, why is our woman taking off the hijab, becoming what they're becoming, drunk, taken by alcohol, intoxicated? People are saying she's possessed. No, she's not possessed. She's intoxicated by music. That's why when music plays, you all of a sudden she changes. Look how they act. You find people that had some decency, some morality, perhaps jumping up and down to a beat. What happened to the honor of human being? وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam. Allah says we have honored human beings to be in this state where he's, he's lost his shyness. Lost his shyness doing the most despicable of behavior just to a sound. You find that perhaps he's memorizing one song to another, has it memorized. You ask him, do you have some of the Qur'an memorized like that? No. He can repeat you lyrics after lyrics, names of songs, the years when it came out, and which musician is known for what lyrics, so on and so forth. This is a tragedy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fear a trial, free, fear a temptation, <coughs> fear this fitna, that it will not only affect the wrongdoers amongst us, it's affecting everyone as a whole. We see it, it's leading <coughs> to people losing their lives. Upon what? Upon what? A man supposedly inspired by lyrics to die for the streets. To die for the streets. And you find that. Some of them, this is what they promote on social media. An old line saying certain things to impose that they want to die in the path of the streets. What happened about dying for the sake of Allah and goodness? He wants to die for the streets. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to alert us all to, wear, to come to some type of awareness about this. Barak Allah li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ani wa yakum bima fihim ala dhikri al-Hakim aqulu ma tisma'oon wa astaghfiruh wa innahu wa rufuruh wa الحمد لله الإحسان والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله تعظيم لشانه وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله الداعي لا رضوانه صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم to proceed in reminding ourselves 
about the impact of music upon the mind and the soul. We do not need to speak any further about it. What we heard should be sufficient for all of us. When you see people playing music, if you're in an area, be like those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described. وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَشْهَدُونَ الزُّورِ وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِاللَّغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامًا Ali ibn Abi Talib and some of the scholars and the Sahabas, when they explained this verse, they said, it is the believers, when they hear words of music, they walk away in honorable. They don't remain in that gathering, sitting, listening to filth, coming into their heart, is channels, your ears are channels to your heart. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned, Kutiba ibn Adam hadhuhu min al-zina mudriku dalika la mahala. The Prophet wasallam said that a man will eventually perhaps fall into his share of fornication. He will reach that and he mentioned even the ears. Al-udunan zinahuma al-istima'ah. The ears, its form of fornication is listening to film. And many of the scholars, they said, Music falls into this. That you fall into the affair of sin, of fornication of for your ears because of you listening to someone promoting it. How could you remain silent? How could you just sit there and take that in? It is something that will affect you some way, somehow. We need to know that this is the root cause of a lot of our problems. Remove it from your homes. Whatever type of music, remove it from your homes. Do not give exception for your music and then you tell the children, no, we don't, your music is not allowed. Double standards, they all distract from the remembrance of Allah. Set the example. We find this. People are listening to lyrics of people that say the worst of things. Wallahi, some of the lyrics you hear, it's meaningless for most apparent, but a heavy message is being given and going across. He'll say, for example, I did this in the early evening. I was roaming around. I, ha I wanted to be mean, so I did this and that. This is the lyrics that he's saying. This is the message that he's trying to get across. Be like me. Be someone that is, has lost his mind, who wants to take people's soul as the cheapest of things. We need to remind ourselves. Let us address this. Do not be like those people that come online. Is music halal or music haram? Is music halal or music haram? Okay, you are going to sur suffer the consequences. Allow this for your children. Allow this filth for your children. And then later on, ask yourself, is it haram or not? Come Yawm Al-Qiyamah and look at the negatives and the consequences that came out of it and say in front of Allah, is it halal or haram? You be the judge. These discussions shouldn't come up in the first place. We should address it and also whatever is coming to now of these new things. People now, they change the names of music. They'll say, Nasheed Islami, Islamic songs. And then most of the times you listen, musical instruments are being played in the background. People are getting distracted from the Qur'an. Words are being repeated that are meaningless. Allah's name just being repeated with no purpose whatsoever. Is this the way how the Prophet ﷺ used to speak and his companions? Busy yourself with the Qur'an. We know that حُبُّ الْقُرْآنِ وَالْحَانِ الْغِنَى فِي قَلْبِ عَبْدٍ لَيْسَ يَجْتَمِعَانِ Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah There was a doctor of the heart, he says, loving musical tunes and loving verses of the Qur'an do not come together in the heart of the person. Man kathab, whoever doesn't believe this, he'll see the reality of it. Let us all awaken ourselves, address the problems, advise these people to not live this lifestyle of listening to these people. Give them a replacement. Give them one of the best reciters of the Qur'an, who has a beautiful voice that Allah has given him. 
Tell them, listen to this morning and evening. Memorize these verses instead of memorizing that filth of lyrics. We need to be good examples in our community. Also, one thing that we need to always be there about is addressing this problem at the very instance of it. Do not wait later on when you see your son years later being inspired by a gang or a rap star or pursuing this person or that person seeing him displaying all his monies online and perhaps it's someone else's money that he's just sharing to the, showing to the people remind them at the very moment before it's too late where they're so persuaded by this lifestyle of this musician and this rapper that it becomes too late, his heart is darkened and covered let us solve the problem Allahumma tahir qulubna Allahumma gfir lana dhunubna Allahumma tahir qulubna Allahumma ij'al al-Qur'an rabi'a qulubina Allahumma ij'al al-Qur'an rabi'a qulubina We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the Qur'an the core of our hearts Wa dhahab ahzanina And to remove the distress and the problems that we're going through And make it a cure for us Uzkuru Allah al-Azim yazkurkum Wa shkuruhu ala ni'imihi yazidkum Wa la dhikru Allah akbar Wa Allah ya'alamu wa tasna'u ma'akimu salam